Mount Tabor is celebrating a significant milestone this weekend, 30 years of ministry. During the special service anniversary service, the senior pastor reflected on the work of the church during the past three decades. Well, Glenn Watson reports tonight that Mount Tabor's accomplishments were also hailed by the nation's chief as nothing short of remarkable. The statistics tell the journey of 30 years, almost 30,000 souls saved, just under 39,000 hot meals served to those in need, 5,000 hospital visits, nearly half a million dollars in scholarships, and providing homes for scores of single and traditional families. That's the story of Mount Tabor Church. Over these 30 years, we've tried as best as we could to touch the heart of God through touching the lives of people. Mount Tabor, you have a right to celebrate today. Prime Minister the Honorable Perry Christie has bestowed a major accomplishment upon Bishop Ellis, highlighting his contribution to revolutionizing the nation's number one industry. Bishop Ellis enabled me as a Prime Minister to launch what we call religious tourism. It has been a very successful intervention in the economy of the bomb. Once we began to segment tourism, then the rest is history. If you could do it with the church, you could do it with sports, you could do it with culture. And we began therefore to deepen and broaden the tourism industry in our country. And while thousands have passed through the doors of membership, Prime Minister Christie was clear that the greatest achievement of Mount Tabor goes beyond just a large congregation. A church is defined not by its membership, really, I suppose, not by what you do in the walls of the church, but how successful you can be in extending the reach of the church. 30 years of great success. Bishop Ellis continues to set the bar high and reminds his congregation that despite all they've been able to do... This is not the time for us to slack our riding or relax ministry or relax, for it is our time instead to take ministry to the next level and prepare the way for the next generation. It is my deep conviction that what God has done is nothing compared to what he's getting ready to do. We can do more. We want to do more. And with your help, we will do more. The bishop says at Mount Tabor they've concluded that as they launch into year 31, it's time to dream again. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.